Hello class, we are going to continue our discussion with regards to swimming. So last time we discussed about the history of swimming in the world setting as well as in the Philippines. So now we will proceed to the equipment in swimming and uh, uh, basic strokes used in swimming uh, competitions. So swimming is an individual or a team racing sports that requires the use of one's entire body to move through the water. So this sport takes place in pools or open water like the sea or the lake. Competitive swimming is one of the most popular Olympic sports with varied distance events in butterfly, backstrokes, breaststrokes, and freestyle. So now let's proceed to discuss about the equipment in swimming. So in swimming, the athlete will use goggles, kickboard, uh, swim cap, starting gun, swimsuit, touchpad and swimming trunks so now let's proceed to the four swimming strokes um, usually used in a swimming competition first is the front crawl so it is popular known as a freestyle again the front crawl is um, popularly known as a freestyle it is also considered as the fastest and most efficient swimming technique so the body must be kept horizontal as you can see here in the picture stretch and streamline it also involves alternating over arm strokes okay these two arms and the flutter kick okay this just like this one and they will have a flutter kick the up and down movement of the legs and the head remains in the water the face alternating from side to side okay from left side to the right side Next is the butterfly. It is powerful and graceful technique. It is also the most difficult and exhausting stroke. The butterfly. This is very difficult. Hands enter the water, as you can observe in the picture. Shoulder width apart. And then the leg moves in fish tail or dolphin kick, which the legs move up and down together with the knees bent on the upward swing. Not like with the freestyle or front crawl to breast stroke it is the slowest of the four official styles in competitive swimming which requires um, comparable endurance and strength to other strokes and then the strokes begins with the body in the stretch out we have the horizontal position with the face in the water okay face in the water the upper body lifts as the arms pull and the head lifts to breathe. And then for the legs, frog kick takes place under the water and begins with the legs in an extended position with feet together. So frog kicks is a leg movement where the knees primarily turned outward and the legs alternately separated and closed. And lastly, the back stroke. It has the advantage of easy breathing but has the disadvantage of swimmers not be able to see where they are going. So um, some of the swimmers have the problems um, encountered in this part. They will have a disqualifications because they cannot able to see where they are going. And then uh, push of the wall on your back in the streamlined positions in the, you know, in the first place. The alternating kick originates from the hip and remains within the body width. Toes are pointed with ankles, relax, and the knees bend slightly with each kick. And lastly, the leg kick and arm actions should be controlled and steady while maintaining a fixed head positions. So these are the equipments used in swimming as well as the four swimming uh, basic strokes. Thank you. Don't forget to answer the evaluation quiz. Bye-bye.